This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hello everybody, today I'm joined by Nick from Irregular Wars and we're going to be playing through Fantastic Battles. Uh, so, we have here a setup for the 10 mil version, but it is scale agnostic. It is indeed. Yeah. So, uh, do you want to give people a brief sort of idea of the, the sort of style of game it is? Certainly. Uh, it's a mass battle game. So, if you like, rank and flank, I think, is a term that's being used a lot these days. Uh, rather than having individually based figures, they're multi-based, mm -hmm. um, and they come together on the table in what we call companies. So, a company is a single unit that can work independently. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you like, that company then can be put together at the start of a game and formed into groups. And those larger groups are less mobile, but more robust. Okay. Uh, so, we've got two forces set out here. We we've do. already deployed, um, because that's fairly dull for people to watch as we slowly put things back and forward on the table, um, especially since I have no idea what I'm doing, so I just pushed everybody up. But the game then kicks off with mishaps. That's right. So, after deployment, you're effectively, you're telling your troops where you want them to deploy, mm -hmm. but that's not necessarily where they turn up. Uh, so we then go to a mishaps phase. We roll for every unit on mm -hmm. the table, uh, apply a couple of modifiers if necessary, and then you might have desertion in your troops. So oh, they please. might start off in a weaker condition. Or you might have disease. So again, they lose a bit of their resolve or, or cohesion. Mm -hmm. um, they could be later enthusiastic. Right. So they, they may suddenly drop back from where we've deployed them or alternatively hair it up the table. Shoot forward. Hell for leather. Absolutely. Fantastic. I'm going to be using the good dwarves, and you're taking some sort of filthy force of greenskins against uh, me. I'm, I'm taking the goblins, yeah. and you're taking uh, the ziggurat dwarves. Mm. See, you know, ziggurat, because it's pyramidal going towards the heavens, because we're so good. Because they're overcompensating for something. Maybe. Maybe. Could be that as well. Okay, so who starts off with the mishaps then? Is it the attacker or the defender? Uh, it makes no difference okay. whatsoever. Uh, so if you like, I'll run through it. Okay. So you roll 2d6 mm -hmm. for each unit. Uh, my goblins have a racial trope, and that's a sort of overlaying trait for all the goblins in the army, mm -hmm. uh, which is most of my units, and that makes them unreliable. Okay. So I will be suffering a minus one modifier to all my rolls. Uh, the magic number for your units to deploy exactly where you want them to be and be healthy is seven. So seven so and above, and you're fine. That's right. Anything less than that, and... And something has gone something's wrong. Something's gone awry. Okay. Uh, if there is a character attached to the unit, you get a plus one. So, for example, I have some wolf riders down here with a rogue mm -hmm. attached. That means that their minus one from being unreliable is compensated with a plus one from the character being For having attached. a character with them. Okay. Yeah. So we'll start there and just move the way across. Sure. So the front wolf riders. Ah, it's very definitely cocked. Ten. Oh, ten. They're fine. Shame. The rear wolf riders are seven, which drops down to a six because they're unreliable. So they are now late. Okay. They redeploy 1d3 plus one base width backwards. Got to stop doing that. So two. they are deploying three base widths back. So it's 1d3 uh, oh, plus, plus one. one. Okay. I'm all for that. So right. this is going to be problematic because the game's all about command and control yep. at this scale. And they are now going to be outside of the command of their captain. Mm -hmm. Good. Long may that continue. Our giant here. He rolls a six. He's also late. He's also three base widths backwards. Oh, this is excellent news for my ziggurat dwarves. Then we have a warlord on a dragon. Mm -hmm. So the dragon's not unreliable. Oh, it's a wyvern, sorry. It's not unreliable, and he still gives it a plus one. Okay. So... Yeah, 11. Yeah. He's fine. Fine. It would be terrible if your warlord ran off early, wouldn't it? Ogre is in the front there. Uh, six, so they're also late. And they are... Four base widths back. This would be really disruptive to your best laid plans. Uh, rather. Mm. Now, we're not playing with objectives in this game, so we're just going to be playing a, a sort of a pitched battle. 
but especially if, if you are playing an objective and you've deployed in very definite ways to achieve those objectives, and all of a sudden your army sort of bounces out of the way, then yep. uh, yeah. Good plan uh, never survives contact. Survives. Exactly. The yeah. So the bats, five drops down to a four, so they are diseased. Oh. So that means uh, they've been hanging with the wrong crowds. They start with minus one to their resolve. Ooh. Now, won't take much to remove them from the table. It won't take much. It's yeah. only a single company yeah. in the unit, so he doesn't have very much resolve. My goblin battle wagon. I'm going to enjoy this while I can because I'm renowned for rolling the terrible dice. Is six, so he's also late. My goodness. He's only going back two base bits, though. Trolls. R7 drops down to a. S oh, no. They're fine. They're, they're, they're not unreliable. Not, they're not unreliable. Giant. Ooh. Is a three. Three is just disease as well. So I am at home to all of this disease rife in your camp. I'm not saying that we did anything to the water supply beforehand. Oh, I didn't need you to do anything to no, the water supply. <laughs> <laughs> not when you got goblins and bats oh, yeah, and giants true. doing filthy things to each other. Uh, this unit here, they're fine. The unit behind them, they're fine. Over here, they are a five comes down to a six. Oh, sorry, a seven six. comes down to a six. So they deploy back one base width. Now, they can't be deployed within another unit. Okay. So they stop so in contact. So they stop. So. Okay. We then have the last unit here. They have an attached magic user. Ooh. More Rolling disease. A three, uh, which is more disease. So that's my forest goblin spider riders at the end there. So that's what's become of my yeah. battle line. Um, it's, it's, I'm not saying it's crumbled, but there's a, a definite uh, slackness to the, the left flank. There, there was a tardiness yeah. over here, yeah. for sure. Okay, so I suppose I should do this and uh, disease all of my ziggurat dwarves then, as is my want. So. I'm going to start with this, uh, well, don't know if you can see them there. It's a little unit of Highlanders, so a regular company of Berserkers. We're going to start the bidding with a six. Yep, so that makes them late. Mm. So it's 1d3 plus one backwards. Okay. Oh, joy, a rapture. So three back. To there. That's not ideal, but, you know, Part of the course for me. Uh, I've deployed in column here because I had a feeling that they were going to go backwards. Oh, better again. Double one. Double one. Desertion. So you lose an entire company. So yep, one he's, full... He's gone. One full base, one full company has just decided we're not playing today. We've seen the size of the army and there's more coming apparently. They're on the horizon. So I'm just going to set them up there by this lovely cigarette to watch. I should think they can garrison it. Nice. Uh, yeah, well, you know, I see how this is going to go. Uh, my Lamassu then. Seven. Excellent. Great. And there's a, a Warlord riding a warlord him. Warlord on so him. goes up to an eight. He's, That's he's fine. Ideal. My um, first artillery. Nice. Disease. So that is minus one per company. So, oh joy! I'll give you a two. Okay, I'll change my two there. Um, I wasn't rolling for my characters. You don't roll, no, for, characters, don't roll for characters, so it's only when they're attached. So my flyers then. So I have a little set of uh, acolyte carpets. Not to be confused with allied carpets. Have you three then? Disease. Disease. This. I'm not blaming your bats, but what I will say is. <laughs> There's an awful lot of virus going around this table. That there is. I have uh, elite ziggurat guard. Yes. They are fine. I'll, I'll take that all day long. And then my last unit of shield bearers. We get a five. Five. So they are enthusiastic. Oh. They get deployed 1d3 plus one bases directly forwards. Nice. So three plus one, four forwards. Um, will hitting the terrain uh, no. cause any issues there, no? Well, it will for your movement. Right. You try and move out of it. Okay. 
but for the time I go four forward. So they'll be plowing straight down Main Street. Oh wow, they were very enthusiastic. They were, weren't they? Fair enough. Uh, they're taking advantage of some of the mm. the goods on offer in the Goblin Town there. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, I wouldn't drink anything they find though. <laughs> Uh, my gin? Yes. So your gin is a character and a company. So you get plus one. Do I get plus one? You well, that's good because I, I rolled another double one. So, so that goes up to three and I'm just diseased instead of actually you're fleeing. just diseased. Thank, thank you. And finally, let's see if I can get my last artillery to write off the table as well. Four. Four. So that makes them diseased. Oh my. Your, your engineers yep. have uh, not been mixing with the right crowds. That's no. what I'm going to say. Well, they were very comely looking young ladies when we were on the town. In the Goblin Town. In the Goblin Town. All right. Now, the last thing, two things that we need to do. Yep. I have a unit of Goblin Redcaps. Okay. They've been eating mushrooms. They're, we're not sure how they're going to behave in mm -hmm. this battle. So rolling one die to find out what they are. So it's it's a trait called stimulants. Okay. So it could be woad with stimulants painted onto <coughs> Celtic types. Yeah. Right? It could be uh, too much beer or whatever. So we're rolling a five. That unit has just adopted the Berserk and the Proud traits. Okay. So in combat, if I roll a six, I add another dice and they'll never run away. They're, oh, they're ignoring everybody else. Very handy. So. Obviously the uh, shroomage is good. The shrooms are good. The other thing, <laughs> My little, tiny little magic user down here with my spider riders is a prophet. So mm -hmm. magic for this game, mm -hmm. each magic user has three slots. Yep. And so you can take a spell, either a level one spell and a level two spell, or three level one spells or one level three spell. Sure. So uh, he is a level three prophet. Mm -hmm. So I'm rolling three dice now. I'll keep them off to the side and I can swap them in for any other dice rolls in the game. During the game. Oh, that's excellent. So low rolls are good because yep. I can give them to you. High rolls are good because I can give them to me. Oh, that's terrible. Thank you. Three fours. Three fours straight down the middle. Could yep. go either way. Could go either way. Yeah. So so I will keep them yeah. off to the side here. That's that's nice. I quite like I quite like the fact that they can be used to hamper your opponent as well. So you, you can make best use of them when you need them. When you need them. Yeah. yeah. Terrible. So okay. I think we're ready to get started with uh, the first turn. Then. We're absolutely ready to get started. Uh, so the game phases mm -hmm. run shooting phase, action phase, melee phase, okay. and then you repeat. So we're starting with shooting. Uh, most units in my army have a limited shooting attack. Mm -hmm. They're goblin warriors with a mixture of guys with hand weapons and, and bows. Sure. Uh, shooting range normally is five base widths. That is your, and that's your long, long range. So even my wolf riders out in front here, mm -hmm. there's not going to be anybody in range of them. These warriors here, mm -hmm. no one in range of them. You, however, have artillery. I have artillery. Artillery has 10 bits widths. That's right. So we're using 40 mil base widths. Okay. So you're looking at 40 centimeters. So unfortunately, still not at this juncture. If only a few of your guys had been keen and run forward, uh, I would enthusiastic, have Enthusiastic, then yeah. we would be within shot. Alas. So there is no shooting this time. No shooting. Okay. So we're jumping straight into the initiative phase. Grant. And initiative is randomly dealt then? It is. So you have counters or meeples or cards. Mm -hmm. And effectively, you have one for each character in your army plus one. So in this case, we have two, mm -hmm. three, four, five, six, seven goblin characters. Okay. And then I have eight counters in this bag. Right. And I'm using white as my uh, counter color. For you, you have your djinn, mm -hmm. two captains, one magic user, and your warlord and the lamasu. Mm -hmm. So that's five. So you have six counters in here okay. and you're using blue. And that's because when you draw a, a meeple from the bag, if people are not in command range, then the, the additional one is to deal with anybody who's out of command, essentially. That's exactly right. So, so my little impetuous, um, Shield bearers there may actually have run away from my command. Is they will be outside of the command radius. Two base widths. Two base widths. So yeah. So 
they've they've scuttled off much further than they would have been. If they'd stayed where they should have been, if they'd have been grand for my deployment, it was all fine. We were all fine here. But no, they felt the urge to run. So, randomly then, mm -hmm. drawing a maple. White. White. So it's going to be one of your own. It has to be one of mine. I have to now determine if everybody's within command range. These wolf riders were within the command range of my captain here on the white wolf. They were slow, but they might still be within the command of the warlord. Okay. So a warlord has a command range of three, so they're well within that. That's mm -hmm. fine. So I have nobody out of command. That means I can give this to any character. And then the characters activate any units within their command range. Okay. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> um, so let's let's start over on this flank. I'm going to give this to my goblin magic user. Mm -hmm. He is attached to a unit of two companies of spider riders. And my spider riders have a move of four. So I am just going to scuttle straight up here to threaten your flank a little bit. And that's all that they can do. Okay. So a magic user can activate himself and any unit he's attached to, but he mm. can't give orders to anybody else. Okay. That's the cost for being in depth with mystical arts. One for myself, and one it has yourself. to be my impetuous it unit. It has to be your impetuous unit. Okay. So impetuous don't get to pick their orders, they roll their orders. They roll the die. Uh, on a four plus, mm. you get to do what you would like. But anything less than that, that's not particularly good. It's another one. That's another one. I am renowned for these. So the individual unit commander mm -hmm. has decided that maybe he was a bit too enthusiastic. Okay. And he's now telling his troops to fall back. Okay, so they would turn 180, which costs two base widths of their movement. That's right. And then would move any remaining base widths backwards. That's right. How many base widths of movement do I have being a cigarette dwarf? Two, you say? I Yes. So that, I'm that just going to present my backside to your goblins. You'll turn your shield wall around, sir, mm -hmm. and present the uh, soft bits. I have absolutely no doubt that that will not cost me problems later on. I now need to maximize that as quickly as possible. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was jolly. It's all going swimmingly on this side already. Another blue. Oh, so another blue, you say. Excellent. Okay. Right. In that case, I feel like I'm going to activate potentially this character. So this captain, because it will give me a chance to bring up multiple people. So a captain has a command range of two base widths mm -hmm. to either side of him. Okay. Which is enough to get the elites in front, which he's practically attached to, and also the artillery behind. That's right. Um, so I will just order an advance, I think, for my elite to try and get up and support their friends before they go away terribly. So the maximum movement is mm -hmm. two base widths. Yep. Uh, being in a unit as opposed to an individual company mm -hmm. means that they can only wheel or advance or change formation. Yep. So. so I will just push forward back to there. So there we go. They'll come up. Uh, characters can move as well. Characters can move as well. Uh, all characters are fairly generic unless you give them special relics, mm -hmm. uh, which are like magic weapons. Um, so captains and all, all characters can move four base widths. Okay. So they're fairly mobile. So in this case, I won't actually bother activating the artillery because I know there's nobody in artillery range currently. So the djinn can do those later when somebody else is presenting. Um, but I will advance just three to there. Okay. Just to continue keeping people in command. Now, next turn, mm. these guys will stay within command, yep. which means that you'll be able to activate them before I get a chance, I think, to cause them too much difficulty. Hopefully. 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 I, there's still plenty of ways I can mess this up, don't worry. 
Who's next out of the bag? Another oh, blue. another blue. Uh, I don't know if I particularly want another blue. I'd, you know, I'd much rather you did something, like move into range. Put those two double one dice so far away from me, actually. Um, okay, my Highlanders, who unfortunately have come all the way to the back here, I think I'm going to activate this captain and get them to uh, move front and center. So they can move. They can move three. So they're, can, they're in a regular company. Yep. So I can go two forward, and then I could potentially. Well, they are as an individual company. As an individual company, they can move in any direction any they like. Any direction, as long as you don't ex overextend. That's right. Oh, okay. So no corner can move further than its movement rate. Yep. But other than that, they can go in whichever direction and end up facing whichever direction they like. In that case, I'm just going to move them to there. Because I see things coming out of the forest. I don't like things coming out of the forest. Things with many legs. Many, many legs coming out of the forest. Okay. Uh, I had planned on moving this company up um, and, and getting the drop on you. And then half of them ran away. Well, a third of them. No, I don't like it so much. But no, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. I'll keep my uh, keep my powder dry, so to speak. White. Okay. Um, let's. Hmm, can I get to you fast enough? My wyvern has a movement rate of five. So even if my wyvern, which is just about my fastest thing, gets right up there, I'm not going to get into the rear of your spearman. You're Good. Just too far away. We'd love to hear that. Uh, so I think I will work over here. I'm activating this captain. Mm -hmm. There is a rogue, another character, attached to this unit. I'm going to activate him at the same time because I want the unit itself to move. Okay. So it just means that when the, I will end up with a spare meeple at the end for that rogue. Okay. So my wolf riders are fairly swift. They're just coming straight the way up. My captain's actually quite a bit slower. He's coming back there. That's all they can do. Okay. Does present me with a target. Ooh, potentially more than one. Going to give that to him. Clever. So now I don't have to give away more of my moves. Yep. I see what you're doing here. This is tactics. What am I going to do against tactics? I can't rely on my dice rolls. <laughs> right. Um, I'm running seriously low on people who can activate and do things. You still have your gin? I do still have my gin. And your magic user and your, your warlord, of course. Yeah. Um, when it comes to magic. Yes. So he has a uh, blink, and that's five base widths? Is yes. It? Yep. Mag magic range is a universal five base widths. Mm -hmm. So with a blink spell, you nominate a unit, friendly mm -hmm. or, or enemy, within five base widths, and then you roll the die. And if you succeed in the dice roll, you can move that unit Okay. in another direction. In another direction. And it's... Is it D3 base words they move? Or? Uh, it's D3. It could be D3 plus one. Uh, we'll just check that. Uh, D3 plus one, that's right. D3 plus one. So between two, mean, and two and four base words. I mean, it's cheeky. Well, it's probably not going to work. But... If I start off and my little gin activates my artillery here, mm -hmm. and then they take a shot at um, your wolf riders, who I think may be in range. Mm. Oh, no, they can't. No. So because artillery has to go in the shooting phase at the start. Yes. Uh, that's important to remember. So we've done our shooting so phase. So we've done our shooting. And by next shooting phase, I assume my wolf riders will be within your range anyway. Well, yes. However, the other thing I was thinking then as my follow-up is the gin then casting. 
And if I was to cast Blink mm -hmm. and Blink behind you, but if, that, if that you wouldn't it, put me into... If you did it perfectly, it could then become it an attack. It could then become an attack. If you did it badly, I you would, would be putting your rear into my bitey wolves' yes. fronts. Yes. 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 Is it worth it? Is it? No. Not by a country mile, is it? I'm you could, of so, course, just move so your, tempted. You could move your gen. I'm just going to move the gen. But I'm so, oh, you have no idea how tempted I was <laughs> to try and blink behind you there. I know people are going, why would you do that? Because, you know, I've got so few in comparison to the goblin horde, and I don't want to back my way into death and oblivion. Um, so Jin can move three, and he is also a uh, individual character and company. So 8, 120. Uh, actually, I'm just going to go to there for the time being. I don't want to get too far forward because I have a feeling it will go badly wrong for him if he does. White. Okay. I am activating my Warlord. Hmm. The first thing he's going to do is yell at these wolves mm -hmm. and tell them to hurry up. So by sending them five base foots forward, they are now going to be within their captain's command range mm. next turn. That's a problem solved. My giant moves three base widths. So he's going to come forward. My ogres only move two base widths. Unfortunately, that will put them right under mm. my flyers. So they can't they can move through the flyers because I can fly. Yep. But they can't stop under them. And I wasn't planning on moving them out of the way in this turn. I think I'm going to have to. Um, but you are allowed to interpenetrate your own units. You can move freely as long as they're not engaged. So you can move through. Some units can. Some units so can. Flyers and skirmishes. Okay. Um, right. What to do, what to do. Sure, there's... there's you, you got to do it, don't you? My Wyvern is going to fly up. I oh, definitely should have blinked. His Bat Riders are going to fly up as well. Mm -hmm. Which then gives space for my slow ogres to get their ogre selves further forward. Mm. And that's where we're going to leave it. Okay. So, my Warlord is riding a Wyvern. Mm -hmm. That Wyvern needs all of the Warlord's concentration to control. So that Warlord can either move or he can rally. Some units will be given the Passenger trait. So mm -hmm. your Lamassu has a Passenger trait. Yep. That means the unit can move and the Passenger, the Warlord, can still rally okay. and give orders. So it makes your Warlord a bit more uh, versatile, but it takes up one of the trait slots mm -hmm. for that creature. Another white one. Um, going for this captain, mm -hmm. he is going to try and rally my giant. So that is his action. He can now not move. He can still order other people, but he can't move himself. Okay. I need a four up to rally. Get a five. Remove my, some of that shaken resolve. Yes, the giant is feeling is, is, is squiffy Tommy has recovered a little bit. He sicked it all up. There's yeah. nothing left in there. Um, There's a delightful image of a dry, heaving giant standing just behind your units. Too many halflings. That's what well, the Yeah, they are, they are very Moorish, though, yeah. once you've had one. <laughs> They're very rich. You can't stop at one. <laughs> Next one is, okay. a, is a blue. So, Captain or Wizard. Or rather, my commander or my wizard. I think. I think I'll go for um, my overall commander. I think I have to at this stage. So, the first thing I'm going to do is 
How far do your spider riders move if they four or five? Uh, they're not particularly fast. I think they're four. Okay. Well, I say it's not particularly fast. It's twice the speed of you. Twice the speed of me. Um, that's all right. I'm going to order my shield forward. Go shield bearers, go. And they would get additional wheels. Uh, they for, can wheel as many times as they like for being, for being in column. In column. It, which doesn't, will, it doesn't make them faster, no. but it makes them more maneuverable. more maneuverable. Which I thought would be handy with all of these trees and the like here, and I didn't want to be a big, wide, unwieldy three bases wide. How's that working for you? Oh, not particularly well. But we as well move them up because next turn they're going to have to uh, reform to receive all the spider charges, I think. Uh, I will also order my carpets. So they have a mighty move of six. So that's five on the five movement on this, stick. Yeah. So five. So six would get me out the other side of that, or just behind them. Don't really know where I want to put these guys right now. There's so many options. I think I will just move them up to there. Okay. Now, before the Warlord moves himself... He can rally. He can rally. That's yeah. Right. Uh, and I think I will attempt to rally off from my carpet. So again, it's just a single. Uh, three die oh, three for, die the, for Warlord. the Warlord. Oh. He's very inspiring. It's probably his cloak and his majestic beard. He still only got the one. But still only got the one. One, one was all you needed. Yes. You know, anything more would be extravagant <laughs> and, you know, unneeded, unnecessary. Nobody needs to be flash. You just you do the bare minimum to get by. Did you now want to move the wall up? Uh, currently, no. Because I don't know where the rest of that army is going. So he's, he's content there. He at least is in range of all his friends. One. Mm. I'm running out of people. Uh, that I want to move. And like you, I'm trying to delay as much as possible. So I'm going to take my magic user back here. Mm -hmm. He has a curse spell, and that's it. And he's just going to run all the way up to here. Well, that seems terrible. And the next one is a blue. So my final blue is my wizard. That's right. Um, so... I'm really just going to be using my little uh, yeah I'm going to keep my wizard back as sort of my artillery buff at the moment um, because they can bless oh I could use haste though only one casting per turn only one casting per turn so so each spell has a difficulty level. Mm. Depending on what level you are, mm. normally impacts on how many die you or dice you get to roll. Um, so I think you have bless or blink two. So you'd be rolling two dice, and you only need one of them to be a success. Yeah. Bless one and haste two for the yes. spellcaster and blinks on my gin. You could bless your gin. Try and try and get that, that one off. Yeah. In which case, I think I'll have to move to get a bit closer. Yeah, I'm just out of five there. So in that case, we'll just go. Just move to there, keeping me front and center. And I'll attempt to bless that one off the gin. Uh, no, your no. movement was your action. Oh, movement's the action. Ah. So you move. So, well, I wouldn't have been in range anyway yes. if I didn't move. So yeah. it can always be next turn. So okay. That, that concludes the voting for the Ziggurat Orbs. So the rest of them, I should have a white. Uh, one for my captain, and mm. then another white one for out of command units. Yep. So we'll just do the last move. This chappy, <laughs> um, he is going to try and move this block of goblins mm -hmm. forward. Once I reach rough terrain, uh, they're going to slow down a bit. Okay. Unfortunately, so it's minus one base width there, minus two once we get into the woods. So anyone going through the woods is only moving at one base width. Okay. Which is unfortunate. Um, so my chats with the stimulants are only going to reach the woods. Okay. Uh, movement penalties apply if more than 50% of a company's base is within the woods. So next turn, they will be in the woods. Sure. 
and likewise covers something similar, then it, if over 50% of the company's base is, is in cover? Yes, yeah. yeah, that's right. Now, these chaps here, mm -hmm. see, I was expecting them to have an enthusiastic and late and all sorts. Mm. They're all a bit tight at the moment. So I am just going to try and wheel them. Again, you can interpenetrate half a base width mm -hmm. through troops as long as you don't stop within them. So that's anyone can do that. Okay. So I'm going to do two base widths to there and then advance to there. So this unit will end up there. Wheel and maneuver. And that. Yeah. So clean up our activations for the next turn. Yep. We pop them in. Okay. We have no melee. Nope. So we're over to the shooting. Okay. So we'll be back in two ticks with turn two. Okay, folks. So we're back for turn two. And hopefully things will, will go my way. All I need is a blue out of the bag turn right off the bat. That's all I need. It's not asking for much. We'll see, sure. Hmm. We do have shooting first. We do, yeah. So shooting is simultaneous. Yep. Okay. So you don't apply any casualties until the end of the turn. Units, or most units, mm -hmm. have to shoot at whatever the closest target is. Yep. That is within range and within line of sight. Artillery get to choose their targets. Handy. As long as they are within line of sight and within range. Mm -hmm. So that means that you have to choose first and nominate what your artillery is firing at before anything else shoots. For example, if I had artillery back here, mm -hmm. and I had guys here shooting into the rear of you, and I thought that they might be able to destroy that unit on their own without the artillery, mm -hmm. and I didn't nominate what the artillery was doing, then I could see how that goes. And if I still need one or two more hits, sure. I could then apply the artillery. That's not how it works. You need to do it okay. first. That's, so. that's fine. I, I'm all for that. This artillery will attempt to shoot these wolf riders. I, that is very S unkind. Simply because I don't know if I've got the range. I think I do, but I've got to try it. This artillery in my center is just going to go straight ahead to uh, your closest unit yep. because you can't target you can't. characters unless they're within short range. That's that, correct. Yeah. Yep. And that's two base widths in this case, so they really have to be in your face asking for it. That one is probably more dicey. I think that's probably going to be out. I but, suspect that'll be out. I suspect that'll be in. Yeah. Okay. You have no artillery. Do I have you no artillery. Nominate your shooting. We will be shooting the nearest targets. In mm -hmm. this case, they will be shooting into the rear of them. Mm. Nobody else will be in range. My Wyvern has a breath attack, but it's short range. Okay. So two base widths. Yeah. I have magic missiles on my gin, but. You may be in range of the goblins as well with I, them. I have, a, I have plans for him for later, and I'm, I'm quite content to. Uh, what? It's five base widths for? Five base widths. And I mean, he can shoot and still yeah, activate and still the action phase. Right. I'll try, although I think he is not going to be that close. But checking then. Okay, yes. So I'll start with this one furthest away. So there's my 40, which is just falling. Oh, I'm like a base width short. If only being impetuous. If only there wasn't a big piece of rough terrain in front of my line. Well, yeah. Uh, they are. They are definitely within shot. Both within. And when you're measuring, you measure both front corners to your target? That's right. So, so. shooting is done by company. The yep. entire unit has to target the same enemy. Mm -hmm. But for example, if there was a tree there that you couldn't shoot through, mm -hmm. by that company, this company could still fire. Still fire. So, but yes, both front corners of each company, if they're in range within line of sight, yep. you can shoot, which in that case, you most definitely are. And. As far as hills go, um, shooting from the top of a hill does give you bonuses. You can ignore. Uh, it lets you fire over the top oh, of, of yeah. intervening troops. So that's good. Always take high ground. We learned that from Obi Wan. So then, um, where am I? Five base Five. Hits from the front yeah. corners. No, he's he's out. He's out. But that's okay. We knew that was going to happen, and you're definitely within range to shoot my. Oh, I'm rear definitely end. within long range, and mm. there's a chance. One of them is within short range, one is within long range. Ooh, so so that just gives bonus. me more dice because I shoot with more dice at short range than at long range. Okay. 
Okay, do you want to do your artillery first? I would love to do my artillery first. Okay, so I believe they have heavy missile weapons, mm -hmm. which means irrespective of what my defense is, that's the target number, mm -hmm. you just need a flat four or above. Okay, and in this case, my shoot is one dash two. So one is short range. So if, if you were up close, I would get less shots at you. Yes, because you have artillery, and it's not as good against guys who are close. Makes it's all the much sense to better me. better if you can fire at a distance. I love that. So, so each base will get two. That's right. So I'll get four dice. And I am mounted, so you get plus one die each. Ooh. So up to six die. That's right. And... This is going to be uncomfortable. You're looking for fours. You say it's going to be uncomfortable. We've seen how my dice roll goes. Looking for fours, but I found oh so many ones and twos. That is average, though. That, that is average. You know, I can't, uh, I can't complain. You can't. So, that's well, three hits on the unit. They have an attached character, mm -hmm. so there is a chance that attached character has been hit. If you cause more than two hits on a unit, okay, there is that chance of death. You need to roll an eleven or twelve on two d six. Two d six. Oh, that would be amusing. Not going to happen though. Thank just the idiot. Thankfully. Okay. So, my shooting. Yes. Okay. So, I have two for him at mm -hmm. short range, one for him at long range. I'm firing into the rear of you. Bonus so dice for each. I get bonus dice for each. You are a drilled, I am. not a drilled company, you are a formed company. Mm -hmm. So, your defense is five. Yes. That means my target number is five. That works. Two. Two. Could have been worse. Could have been. Well, that, that's pretty good. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that. So, that is yeah. the best opportunity I was going to get to shoot at you. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can't. If somebody walks forward, turns around, and presents their backside, why would you not? Why would you not? You exactly. Know. Okay. So, shooting's over. That's the shooting for our turn. Yep. We would then remove any units that have. That, that have scattered. That have scattered. Yes. So, in this case, my doughty dwarves have got a resolve of uh, five. They are tough nuts are, to crack. Yeah. So I need to cause 15 hits on that unit in order for it to run away. So, well, yeah. So if that's any, any help, I've already done five to myself. So, you know, <laughs> in, in some respects, I'm helping you out. My but, wolf riders have a result of four each. Okay. So, so there's so a total of eight there plus yeah. one for the attached character. So, so, so three's, three's a good headway. I'm, I'm a third of the way there. Really. It is. Yeah. So what I think we need now is for you it's to have... Blue. All the blues. Many blues. To go first. No, no. That's, that's no. what we want. I so, don't think it is. Oh, dear. And it is we indeed. All seen Look at that. Palm that. We've all seen that being palmed into your hand. So would you believe I'm going with this character? You know, I would believe that, yes. I am going to... Charge into your rear, mm -hmm. which hits, mm -hmm. and then I will conform. I've still got enough movement, mm -hmm. so I will conform around to charge into your rear. And when you're charging in, you have to essentially square off. You square off corner to corner. Yep. Uh, you can only intentionally get your front corners in contact with the enemy. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to be able to charge with your butt yeah. or charge or, sh the side. or shuffle into shuffle. people. Yeah. Yep. So. That is their action. Mm -hmm. He again has gone with them, sure. even though he hasn't been activated yeah. uh, as such. Um, now, they, any unit that is charged that is not yet activated, mm -hmm. has to react. Okay. The only reaction you can do when you've been charged in the butt is stand it's, there. Is stand there and take it. Yep. yep. Next turn, you can conform. This turn, you've activated. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I will. Any, any others from that captain? Yes. Um, these wolf riders are going to come charging up here. And that captain, you know what? He's going to throw his lot in over here and add himself to the combat Attach. as well. That's what I'm doing with that captain. Mm hmm. Ooh. Another white. Hmm. This wee chap here. Let's 
So their normal three movement has been reduced to two, going through the woods. Mm -hmm. Or going through the rough, rather. And then here, very slowly moving. There's an unstoppable green tide coming towards me right now. The white ones float in the bag. Apparently, obviously. they all float. Um, My battle wagon moves four. That line's formed itself up brightly again. It's trying. Mm. There's a blue one for you. Oh, happy days. Would you believe you have a unit out of command range? Your artillery on the hill. That is a wizard. Oh, wizard can And that is a wizard. And that's a wizard. So that means that that has to be applied to them. Okay. Artillery, when they're out of range, can reload. Okay. And you don't have to roll a die for them. Oh, that's nice. So it, it doesn't hamper it, you, yeah. except it stops you being able to do anything else equally anything clever. Else. That's all right. I have nothing else equally clever to do. We'll soon see. Okay. Hmm. Magic requires line of sight. Uh, or only for shooting. So bless wouldn't. If I was to attempt to bless no, you on can, the backwards facing. You uh, can bless shield whom, bearers. whom you like. That might be a way to go. They shouldn't have come so far forwards. Gary. They shouldn't have. I told them not to. They don't listen, though. Sometimes when they've had a few drinks in them. Stubborn. They, Stubborn dwarves. They just plow on. I will see. Oh, well, I'm within five. So I will attempt to bless them because I need to try and restrain the amount of resolve they're losing in okay. some fashion. Okay. What level of bless are you? I'm only at level one. Okay, so it's one die, yep. but blessing is even easier than rallying. You just need a three up. Three up. I mean, that's going to happen, isn't it? Or not so or much. Or not. You know, it was a beautiful dream. I think we can all agree. White. Uh, Mm. Now, we chappy here. So, characters never suffer any movement modifiers if they're mm -hmm. moving independently. They're they're Frodo with the ring. You know they can. Oh, that's good. They can go where they like. Another white. This is not actually what I want. Hmm. Hmm. Come on, let's not be a white. Ah, shucks. Blue. So. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I'll pass these over there, but really, you mostly only need that one. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks for reminding me of my short stature. The fact that my knees attached directly to my backside, with no thigh in between. And your ankle. Hmm. 
I think I think I'm going to activate this captain uh, way out here and push my Highlanders forward. We go to there with the high hopes of getting one out of the bag next turn before you. That would be delightful. Oh, I'd love that. Could you imagine? Hmm? And I will also reform. So there are two ways you can reform. Oh, from, there are. From column to uh, line, uh, which is either maintain your orientation and then turn the facing. That's right. Or, or reform. Bring a unit up from, or a company up from behind. Yeah. yeah. So in this case, I will bring a company from behind. Actually, I'll bring a company to there. So it doesn't matter what side goes, yep. does it? So at least we're back in fighting position. And then he will, you know what? So you can risk this. This is what I'm thinking. If you leave them out of command, mm. then they will be activated on your first counter. Yep. Because you have other things that because are out of command. So yeah. you won't get to choose what that first counter is used for. And then there's a 50% chance. In fact, there's a 66% chance that they will charge straight ahead. Oh, well, you know. But there is also... There, there is also the, the possibility that that will not happen. That, in that any will way not happen. Uh, and that is the possibility I'm considering right now. Um, so I think I may just move him up. I was almost toying with actually attaching him. That's bold. It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But if I attach him, well, I suppose my commander's still there, so they would still be in command. If you attach him now, yes, and then I charge you rather than you charging me, there's a chance. He there's can, there's he, a good chance he will die. He will go away. But if you activate him before I activate my wizard next turn, mm -hmm. then you can attach him at that point. So mm -hmm. I would just leave him. Just leave him off. Just leave him off. Point. That that's being a little bit gamey, a little bit beardy, but you know, it's it's one way of doing it, certainly. Okay. We'll go with that. I appreciate any advice I get. Something has to make up for all of the ones. Right, okay. I think it's gonna be the gin. So, or is it going to be the gin? No, we'll go for captain and be damned, I think. So, my shepherd king, who is within range for all of his tiny friends. So... So are they within three base widths? Oh, yeah, yep. that'll do. So I could wheel to there mm -hmm. for less than a base width and then move one forward. Let's pop their disease around the side. And offer a... Uh, Firm frontage. So that's one. My acolyte carpets. Hmm. I don't like the way my flank seems to be being overwhelmed by wolf riders. That is what they are for, traditionally. Mm. So I think my uh, carpets will go to there. Don't think I can get in a better position for shooting them, but I am flying, so hopefully that should mean I can take a pop at them. Yes, if you just land them sort of like that, 
Mm -hmm. It just makes that corner then closer oh, in closer. terms of okay. targeting. Hooky dooky. Is that you? Just got the gentleman to move and also... And the artillery behind him will reload as yeah. their action. They'll so reload. With your heavy missile well, weapons, you I, need to spend an action to reload. Okay. So I can still rally because he's a... He's a passenger. passenger. So he's going to attempt to rally the two off here before he goes anywhere. Let's see what our survey says. That would be one. As a helpful one for you. That's very handy. Almost like I needed that. And then... Let me see. Moves five. Don't want to go that far, but... Let me just go into the middle to shore that up. I think that's going to be me. Blue. Blue, so blue, blue. So gin. Your gin. Yep. And the gin. Hmm. I also think he's going to go and play shoot the uh, wolf riders. Yeah, I think he will do something similar. Take his little token with him. Blue. Okay, so that's my final captain then. Yes. Who will cheekily attach himself there. Okay, so if you're attached to this one, he mm. is adding his resolve to the unit as a whole. Yes, but not fighting. But he's not fighting. But that also means he can't be killed. That is correct. That's what I'm aiming for. Okay. I'm not saying that he's a coward. I'm just saying he's strategic. <laughs> okay, so a white one. Uh, what do I have left? My rogue. Yep. And a white one for my Warlord, and then I've got one for Outer Commands. So, the Warlord, he has, on his Wyvern, movement of five. So I could, if I so chose, go into your flank. Mm -hmm. That puts me in a pickle because you're so close to me here, but they're so slow. Or I can just send the bats in. Sort it. My Warlord, on his weapon, is crashing in to the rear of you there. Okey dokey. His giant mate is saying, wait for me. His bats are just going to hover back here. And that should be us. So ready for melee then? Ready for the melee phase. All right. We've got there. My doughty dwarves are about to be taken roughly from behind. I hear they like it that way. And you know, all the nice girls love a ziggurat dwarf. <laughs> it's the beards. It is. It is the beards. <laughs> right. So melee, we have only one melee going on mm -hmm. uh, in this turn. And it's all happening here. Yep. Okay. So you have one unit. I have two units. Mm -hmm. So you'll be splitting your attacks. Yes. This company has to fight my Wyvern. Mm -hmm. These two companies have to fight my Wolf Riders. Okay. Okay. You have shields and long spears. I'm facing the wrong way. Pointed that way. Yeah. Okay. So that doesn't factor here at all. Mm. So you will get... What's their melee fit, uh, factor? Okay. So their melee is three. Three. Minus two because you're attacking to your rear. Okay. Okay. So that company will get one die. Yep. That company will get one die. Okay. That company against the Wyvern will mm -hmm. get one die plus one for the captain. Okay. So. So. Two and two. Now, this is where you start to cry. I'm, I might not. <laughs> My wolf riders have four H. Yes. They charged, so they get an extra one mm -hmm. each. They are hitting you in the rear, 
Mm-hmm. So they get an extra two each. Sure. They have a captain and a rogue attached. Excellent. So an extra one for each of them. Okay. Is that all? I'm going to run out of dice, so we'll do the Wyvern separately. Okay. Right. Uh, but the Wyvern will have four for himself, mm-hmm. plus two for the Warlord. Okay. Plus one for charging. Plus two for the rear. Plus two for the rear. Okay. So, so he will have, have nine, nine dice. dice himself. Well, okay. So you still have a defense of five. Excellent. You're doughty, you're tough, you're heavily armored. So even though you're having to poke like that backwards, you're... I, I, I will survive. I'm confident I will survive this. Attacking my women, I have a defense of five. Mm. So you need fives. Okay. Well, that, Against yeah, the that, wolf riders, a defense of four. So you only need four. Is, I mean, this is a piece of cake. Really, really, you know, the only reason I turned my back was to lure you into this trap. <laughs> really? All right, so die rolling yep. simultaneous yeah, doesn't make any difference. So. Let me roll my cock dice. That, that would be none then. So that's none against the wolf riders? None against the wolf riders. Save myself. So I rolled three fives. And okay. four sixes. My wolf rider is a berserk, which means any sixes allow me to roll additional roll, dice. Roll up. So another four. Another four. This this is you know we've taken a bite. We have a taste of dwarf now. Got a, got a thirst on. Another two. Another two. Okay. So that is a total of nine hits. Nine is that against all? you. That's all. Is that all. Uh, so let's remember that with a colourful die over here, if I can find a Stop nine. your finger, yep. Yep. Okay. Now, my wyvern against your... Yep. My company with captain. Yes. He does less well. He does less well. I do pretty much the same as last time. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. So, in this instance... I rolled three above five, mm-hmm. and my Wyvern has poison. Ooh. Poison allows you to re-roll ones. Oh. That's his bilious breath. His, his just venomous sting. Yes. All of this and more. Breakfast burrito. That makes no, no difference okay. anyway. But, so, so that's an extra three. three. So, so that is 12, 12 hits in total. 14, because I'm carrying two? Yes. Against my mighty resolve of 15? Yes. Plus my captain. Plus your captain. Sixteen. So. So, that stack is yeah. fourteen. Okay. Now there is a chance I killed your captain. Yeah, on a be, eleven or twelve. Because I hit more than two. Twi- yep. Against that unit or that company. No, yeah, but you don't. No joy. So that's that's good. That's a shame, isn't it? it oh, that it really that is. didn't go quite as well as it could have. I, the most remarkable thing is that unit's still there with their scouts, you know. They, they are tough, they, and if they turn around next turn... Yeah, I mean, somebody's going to get punched in the teeth. Yes. Yeah. I still only need one more six. Mm. Oh, two, because you've got a captain. Yeah. Uh, but we'll soon see about that with my rogue next turn. Well, you know, hope springs eternal. Hope springs eternal. But we'll be back then for turn three in just a moment. Indeed. All right then, so we're back for turn three, which is going to be a glorious swing for the dwarves, I have no doubt. It may be, it may be. Yeah. Uh, we'll start with the shooting phase. Yeah. So again, you have artillery. I do. So you need to nominate your targets. Uh, and I will. Um, so, I think I might go for both artillery pieces into this unit here. I'm sure I will be within range. Um, well, I, yeah, yeah sure. I will. I'll do that. Okay. Uh, very good. So over here, mm-hmm. we don't have an eligible target for my wolf riders. Good. Uh, I can't see through the town. Mm-hmm. Your flyers. Ooh. Ooh. All right. I'm, they will have to shoot your flyers mm-hmm. uh, as the nearest because they are flying. Uh, they're out of range. These guys will have to shoot each other. Mm-hmm. My spiders into your uh, bizarre Highlanders, yeah. Yep. And that's about as far as it gets for me. Okay. Okay. 
your acolytes yes. will need to shoot here. Uh, that's, that's why they moved over there. Let's hope they can actually hit a target. That would be great. And that's it. I'd love that. All right. Do you want to do your artillery first? I'll have a wee look and see. So that is that artillery out of range. This artillery is fine, mind you. So. Okay. So that's a flat four dice. Four so dice, yep. Two for each unit, uh, two for each battery. Yep. Uh, and my defense is four. You have heavy weapons, which makes it four anyway. So. One. Uh, yeah. As you know, unless you want to trade out some I, of my messes for fours there. I was considering trading out some of your uh, No. <laughs> How cocky are you? Maybe, maybe not. No. Okay. Well, you know, you can't have everything. Um, I'll go for my little flying carpets next. Okay. Uh, since it's all simultaneous loving anyway. Absolutely. And my acolyte carpets have got two at long range. Three if they were up close, but they will not be up close. No, nope. so it's long range. Long range. Uh, do you get anything for cover? Uh, no, not there, because you're flying. You're okay. above, the, so I'm above the village. Above the village, good. I am mounted, so okay. that gives you an extra plus one. Oh, nice. So back up to three then. Yep. And your defense is? My defense is four. One. One, okay. Some of the best ice rolling I've had in ages. I will return fire. Mm -hmm. Don't like that coming down from little flying wizards. Oh, one, one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then over here, yes, we have two units of spider riders mm -hmm. hurling. Sticks and smaller the spiders. The occasional one scuttling out, yep. aye, it's biting at you. And then you'll be doing the same. You've got champions running forwards and engaging in single combat, and you've got guys <laughs> throwing axes. So I have short range of one for each of those, so it gives mm -hmm. me two right, two dice. You have short range of one. Yep. So it gives you one die. Yeah, one dice, yep. Uh, and for both of us, it will be four. Okay. Because even though these guys are physically mounted on spiders, they don't have the mounted trait. Handy. That'll be a new. Oh. That'll be one. And would you believe I foresaw this coming? Yes. That's actually two hits on them. Clever. The power of prophecy. The power of the prophecy. That's all right. I still have resolve. I'm still there. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I think it's, I think it's time to... Uh, Go two to two. Go for the meeples. Yeah. Ooh, artillery. Artillery. Well, potentially he's moved back, so he might actually be in range now, in which case it may not be the artillery. I may, I may not have anybody terribly. Oh, no. No, it's no, artillery. No, just, just out, so the artillery gets to uh, reload again. Oh, <gasps> Shock horror. Oh, poop on a stick. Oh, ooh, delightful. The only question is, do I go for the Berserkers before the Berserkers get charged, or do I attempt to turn that unit? That would make the most sense. They do have a captain attached to them. Yeah. Who will activate at some point. The, no, this is very true. And so they will turn. Yeah, it's, it's whether or not, well, yeah, no, that's true, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go for my uh, my little berserking friends back here. That's most unfortunate, and I'm glad I prophesied some damage mm. onto you. So, well within my three base widths anyway, because it's practically only one. So I'm just going to go two to two there. Mm -hmm. You'll get a support. Will he bring his friend up with him? Uh, ooh, mm. I think at the moment they will. I don't think you're you're not fast enough to get out of that, are you? Not in one turn. Not in one turn. I'll, I'll get yeah out of it, but I won't be out of it, so to speak. So I'll use that opportunity to move them up as well. Okay. And for my final trick, 
Why not? If you're uh, the young yeah, ones, you get, have get to, in. You have to. Get in there. Ooh. Right, so. The first thing I'm going to do mm -hmm. is curse. Can I? You can. One? Curse that spear wall. Okay. So a curse spell mm -hmm. reduces your power effectively. Right. I need to roll four up. And for every roll of four up that I get, each of those companies suffers minus one dice. Oh. So I'm prepared for you to turn around. But you want, you, to, get, you want to weaken me. You have massive happens. bonuses then because you're fighting mounted and mm. monstrous enemies with spears. Mm. So I want to get rid of that. Makes sense. So three die. And you need one. And I need four up. Each die reduces you by one. Okay. Oh, I sense more prophecy coming on here. Do you know what? I did see that coming. Yeah. So each of your companies is at minus three. Is at minus three. Okay. In that particular combat. I will pop a little die there with three on it, just to remind me. But no more prophesying. You can only no. see so far into the future. That's Apparently right. turn three is the limit. That's it. After that, it's a mystery. <laughs> Probably because he's about to be killed by a dwarf. Uh, white, 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 white. What are we going to do? This captain mm -hmm. is going to try and rally his boys. Okay. So it's minus one because they're in combat, but yeah. plus one because he's attached. Okay. So it's a flat four. Oh, show off. I could do that as well. You know, it's just I don't you, want to. You just don't want to. No. All right, all right. <laughs> While that's happening, then these wolves. Hmm, I really don't want to be caught in the rough, but I kind of have to because it's there. Nobody wants to be caught in it. There you're going. Right, he's attached to that unit. They are just going to go to there. Sorry, village. Well, they knew the risks when they decided to set up home on a battlefield. I mean, that was foolish, wasn't yeah, it? It was a stupid idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh. White. And he is going to rally them as well. Mm -hmm. So now he's not attached to that unit. And they're in combat, so it's a five. One more. Hmm. Handy nevertheless. Blue. Hmm. What shall I do? May I have the measuring sticky? Certainly, sir. So you're in bless range. I think I might throw a little blessing in their direction on the off chance. You never know your luck. I think we do know my luck, though. We've seen my luck writ large. You're, you're only a level one bless, aren't you? Yep. Ah, oh, you know. There you go. I'll take that. Exchange. Your uh, four, four for three. 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 Yep. Thank you very much. Every little helps. That's what Tesco was telling me. Uh, will he move? Well, he's just cast a spell. Oh, that's so right. Yes. His, so entire, his time is spent. I really need to stick them on to more flying things as passengers. <laughs> just strap them to the side of a horse. Like a pillion passenger. Have they already moved this turn? Yes. He brought them up. So I was checking to make sure you couldn't get me. I can't get you, but I want to make sure that I get you rather than you getting me. That makes sense. And 
these incredibly. <laughs> you know what they say? Drunk goblins. Stoned goblins, hallucinating goblins. If you go down to the woods today, you go for a big surprise. <laughs> Their surprise was that they were bloody woods there. They yeah. couldn't get through them. On that note, when you're doing the mishaps at the start of a, a, a game, do you ignore terrain impediments for the, the retreat and, and you do. push forwards? You so, do. Yeah, so if you're lucky, you could leash them all the way through or out the other side of a piece of terrain that would otherwise inhibit them. I saw a game the other day that had heavy impact cavalry mm -hmm. lodged in the middle of a village. Right. So oh dear. Yeah, they, these things happen. Nice. Blue. One for me. One for me. What do you feel like? I mean, a gin's not the worst in the world when it comes to charging and thumping people. Uh, in the oh, he, he's quite tough. Uh, I'm just finding out what the village will do to him. He can move through it. Yes, as he's ephemeral. Ephemeral. It's treated as rough terrain, so that means you get a minus one to your melee. Question is, am I in range? Ooh. I would say barely. What is your movement? Three, I think, for him. Moves three. three. So his front corner mm -hmm. is back here. Ah, uh, so in that case, you wouldn't be. Your move is? Five minus two for being in the rough terrain. So you're not, well, you could potentially hit me unless I move because you wouldn't be worried about my front corner this turn. You'd probably want to turn to face me anyway. Yeah. Hmm. I think I will. Now, characters, when they're in uh, settlements, mm -hmm. there's a list of sub actions that mm -hmm. they can do. Uh, so if he was to enter the settlement next turn in his action, he could consult with the local priests, or he could try and steal a magical relic, or try and incite the locals. That's gins for you. I'm not suggesting like he that. should, because no. there's a bunch of wolf riders there. Yeah. But he could. He could. Well, time will tell, I suppose, what, what will happen there. But I think that's all my gin is doing for this turn, is just getting ready for the incoming. I could have pulled back a bit further, but you know, where's the fun in that? White, I don't have a lot left to do, do I? No, I suppose. He hasn't activated yet. All that he's going to do is just shuffle his little green self across to the next company mm -hmm. so he can take part in the combat. Okay. Which is either incredibly dangerous or incredibly brave. It's, I always plump for brave. Must be brave. Another white one. My battle wagon is actually fairly fast. He just doesn't particularly want to get caught all by his lonesome. Mm. Meanwhile, these boys back here are the ones who are supposed to be taking on your shield walls. But they got lazy. Better late than never, ogres. Thought it was better out than in. Mm. Why not both? Blue. So, my shepherd king. Or your chappy over there. Ooh. Yeah, may as well just go with them actually at the moment. And get them to reform, facing forward. Mm -hmm. So. Conform, conform, conform. And of course, unless you're planning on moving him, um, he can rally them at the same time. Mm -hmm. 
No, I don't think I am planning on moving him. I'll leave that. That's my minus three dice. So I'll get a separate dice for this. Rally. Which every says. Ooh, Ooh oh, well, well done. Another one off. There is a two. Happy days. I'll just drop it anywhere at all. There's so much room back there. <laughs> Not stacked up <laughs> with green markers. <laughs> Down to 12. I mean, they're barely, barely ruffled barely at all scratched. now. Yeah. White. That will be my rogue activating now. Mm -hmm. He is saying, I've had enough of this particular battle. I'm going to come over here Ooh. and join the warlord on his women. Okay. I think I have one left and you have one left as well. I've activated everyone. Yeah, that's true. So that's my out of command. Petrus, yeah. And that is your king. Okay. So, king. So my elites mm -hmm. here can't hit the flank there. They don't because have they can't conform. The they don't have the movement. They wouldn't be able to conform in. They can wheel. Yep. But only that far. Yep. They could advance and then turn into column mm -hmm. by doing a right turn. That would put them there, but they would not be in base contact. Yeah, and it would also expose a massively long flank to I most of your army. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know, not at all. <laughs> you, you haven't seen any, no, none no, of this. No. They're not making any sense. Uh, I think I will. I'm just going to move your rogues. Yes, yes, token. absolutely. I think I will just advance. Advance one to there, and then I'm just going to pivot that much and hopefully present somebody with an option next turn. And then that leaves my Lamassu to, let me see. What's the range for rally three? Uh, your command range. So oh, for a warlord, command. it's it's three. Yeah. yeah. So he wants to be rallying there. Could rally them, or he could just hair off. He could fly around and be useful. He could fly around and be useful. It's it's something he tends not to do. He's too busy kinging. He's Is a little that? bit. He's a little bit kinging, but also a little bit. I want to be in a position where I can possibly support a charge next turn. Um, so I don't want to drift too far away. Um, so potentially a move. Yeah, I'm just going to move him to there. Keep him within three of all of those. And since he's here, he'll try and rally the one off he the might artillery well. that's there. He might as because, well. Because with three dice, who knows what would happen? He may even pass one. He won't. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a very inspiring king. Um, you know, people have seen what he does on that Lamassu, and they're not inspired by him in any way, shape, or form. They're more content to let him just truck on. Fair enough, fair enough, sir. Shall we get ready for some melee then? We should. All right then. So, melee. That's right. Give uh, choice. Well, you're the attacker, so you can choose. I I'll think I would you. really like to see, oh, I don't know, maybe this resolved one way or the other. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sure. So this is going to be a lot less brutal for me because I'm no longer charging and hmm. I'm no longer hitting you in the rear. Not quite as bad for you, but still pretty bad. Still pretty bad. The, the minus three die per stand is... Uh, well, per company is is not ideal, but you know, could be worse. So for each company, you should have a melee factor of three. Yep. And then you get plus two because you have long spears fighting mounted. Mm -hmm. Plus two long spears fighting. Uh, my he's not giant or monstrous. You don't get plus Ooh. two against him. Oh dear. Interesting. So for this final company, then yes, the minus three takes them to zero. Do they? 
do they cap at one or is it? it or, you or always go, roll at least one. Okay. And then so he'll get one for they him. They would be getting one for him. So he'll get two and these gentlemen will get four into the Bullfriders, two each. Uh, three, Long. four, five, minus three, two each. Yes. Yep. Smashing. The, uh, the maths and my head are not always friends. <laughs> so I will get four each mm -hmm. for the Wolfriders, plus one for their captain. Okay. And then my Wyvern gets four for himself, and then one for the Rogue, Yep. and two for the Warlord. Okay. So I now need sixes, because you've turned around and you've presented a shield wall at me. Excellent. So everything's coming up, Ziggurat. Well, let's see about that. So this is my Wolf Riders. Okay. My sixes, I still get still to roll up. Roll again. Okay. But in this case, I don't. None. Bounce. That is most unfortunate. And my counter to your Wolf Riders then? You're looking at fours. I do three. That is not very nice. Well, it's unpleasant, I'll give you that. I shall report you <laughs> to the USPCA. So, here. Yes. Now I add, or well, I get to reroll ones because of my poison. Yes. But I still need sixes. Still need sixes. No, and That's two rerolls. Very poor. And still no. Still no. Not a hit upon you. And in retaliation, I do not. Two fours. Need five still. Okay. Now, my rogue, mm. if I had have inflicted two hits on you, mm -hmm. miraculously... Could have just offed. He would have added three to his dice roll to try and kill you. Ooh. So it would have been nine or up oh. rather than 11 or 12. That's that right? well, I'm very, very happy eight, that didn't eight happen. Eight or up. See, maths, maths. Math, well, you know. Mm, you know. <laughs> yes. So... Math what, hammer doesn't work. What a waste of time. I, I don't know. It worked for me. Uh, so you have managed to rally them enough? That yes. They're, that, they're, that they're, they're, they're quite there. content to stand there and take on the world. Yes. Over here, however, yeah. is another matter whatsoever. My spider riders get melee of three. Mm -hmm. I also have melee of three. I add one for my magic user and one for the support that this guy's giving. Because yep. he doesn't have anyone in front of him, he gets to add one die. Okay. I'll add one for my character and one for charging. Yes, and then because you are crazy Highlanders, mm -hmm. you're doing a furious charge, yes. so you get an extra two die. Oh, that's excellent news. Now, again, I'm poisoned, and I think you are berserk. I'm berserk, so, you... so I roll up sixes. Yes, and I re-roll ones. Mm. And that will be enough. Okay. Uh, you are fours still? Fours still, so yes. Three at the moment, reroll one for the six. Oh. Put you on to four. Oh. Okay. Each of my spider riders have a resolve of three, which means the total resolve for that unit is six plus mm. one for the magic user. Seven. Oh, so close. You have just taken me to six. I've taken you to six. With that magic user leaves that unit, the unit evaporates. Okay. So he is now stuck there. I caused three hits on you. Yes. And my resolve is only four. Plus one for the captain. Plus one for the captain. Is five. So. You had already taken two. So they will evaporate and the captain will they go to. They scatter two. and the captain goes with them. Now, before they go. Yes. Do I still have a chance to kill that magic user? And if so, would that scatter the unit? Yes. Indeed. Because I caused over two hits. It would indeed. So all I need is 11 or 12. That's here. all you need. All yeah. I need. No. Ah, that's no. good. Once again, my, my dice come back to uh, standard, I suppose. Increase the amount of dwarves holding the hill. The hill is where all good dwarves go when they, they pass from this world. That's what they say. That's what they do. <laughs> that, nobody's ever been able to get up there to check because there are no steps and we can't reach. Short legs. Very short legs. So we imagine it's a land of milk and honey up top. Um, okay, so that was a brutal, brutal melee. So that was fairly brutal. Mm. Um, I am now just hanging together over here. Mm -hmm. My magic user can't rally. Oh, so that that's unit terrible. either is a bit of a, a lame duck mm. or it might be able to get into your flank. 
Time will tell. Time will tell. Time will tell. Okay. All right. So, in fact, that's I the end of the melee. Yep. Yeah, I think that's the end of this turn. It is indeed. So we should be right back with turn four. Okay, so turn four. Uh, I feel it's all going swimmingly with my plan. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the turn that we're going to see mm. a lot of turning. Mm. Yes. All right. So shooting. Yes, please. You have to nominate with your artillery. I will nominate with my artillery. Uh, looking down the line there at what sort of things are coming at me. I don't really like any of my choices, but... Uh, da -da 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 -da. I think the unit I've already started to throw damage onto is probably a good way to continue. Mm -hmm. So this artillery piece will fire into there again, potentially. Oh, actually, mm, no, no, scratch that. If I have the range for them to hit them, they'll be shooting there. Okay. And then the second artillery piece will take a punt at them since they've moved forward now. Okay. And try and soften you up somewhat. They will be out of range, the spider riders. Mm -hmm. They've only got short range. Mm -hmm. They will be within range to do some... Yep. So they'll get their short range. He'll probably... Oh, no. So they can all do short range shooting into you. Okay. Again, you have shields. Yeah. So I, I need sixes. It's not too scary for you. Um, My carpentry will go into your wolf riders once again. And they will return yeah. the favour. Um, and here, my trolls can throw stones, mm -hmm. but you're a little bit too far away. Okay. My Jin could try his magic missile, but he isn't flying. That is correct. So the the he little can, village will get in the we'll way of the shots. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Do okay. you want to do your artillery first? I would love to do my artillery first. Uh, I'm going to start on this one over here and see. So 40... Is to there. Just in. Ah, so that's enough. They're in. And then over here. Oh yes. Oh, oh just. Oh, that's good. I just I just need a decent shot. Just one. Four die. I need. And you need one of them to be four plus. I just plus. need one of them to be a four plus. Now yeah. many people would say, well that's simple. However, I know me. Statistically it's probable. Yeah, well, math hammer doesn't work. I learned that from the guys at Counter Charge. But I shall have a wee punt anyway. Okay. So you're shooting them first? I'm going to shoot them first because I, I really don't want my flank rolled up. Oh, I, all of the money today. And they are gone. Okay. And then the second unit into the unit coming out here. And that will be another Whoa. three. Powerful. Your engineers have got their eyes in anyway. A apparently they've been biding their time waiting for you to overextend. That is their excuse and not that they've finally run out of drink and they're having to pay attention to what's happening in front of them. They normally just spend, spend their time sitting at the back of the hill sunning themselves while the rest of the army does the fighting. Um, I'll do my little flyers just to finish off my shooting. So that's another three dice then. Uh, on fours. Mm -hmm. Our survey says... Ooh, Ooh. three. That is some... Uh, these die, I'm going to keep those dice there. Those are my important dice for when I need to roll well. Some top quality yep. shooting there. And then me returning the favour. Okie dokie. Over here. My wolf riders firing at long range at your carpet riders. Yes. One more hit on them. Okay. Increase that to two. In the middle, then, mm -hmm. my mixed weapon. Oh, I'll keep this handy. Goblings. Mm -hmm. Get two dice, two dice mm -hmm. each. I keep singularizing my die. <laughs> Not sure why. Speech impediment. So, two so, dice each into like you. Sheeps. Sheeps, yes, but the other way around. Yeah. And I need sixes. Ooh, none. None. Not, Not poisoned. Uh, no, no, not poison. Spiders. Yep. And so, nobody else is in range. Yep. So, so what has happened then? Over here. Yes. This unit has scattered. Mm. They run away. 
Now, when units scatter, if other units are within two base widths, hmm. that loss of resolve, that panic... Ripples. Ripples and spreads. Nobody was in range of your no, unit. No, it's, it's no almost like I knew that was going to happen, so backed away. It's within range of my unit. However, we have now lost a character each, hmm. which means that we take out a meeple okay. for each of us. Sensible. Gone now. Never to return. What a shame. Maybe forgotten. So, initiative. Hmm. It's important. It is. Ah. Oh. Less than ideal. But so many places I could go. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> so many people to be charged, so little time. Oh, where, where, where do I focus this? I have to start here. Well, why wouldn't you? These goblins mm. will go in. Yep. So they're going in sort of skew if, Yes. But every unit has a one base width slide. To conform to bit. corner to corner. Yep. Yep. So they're going in. Okay. And they have a furious charge. So they really need to get that first yes. charge in. Their friends then don't want to get too close mm -hmm. in case they run away. Sensible. But still close enough to be commanded by the king. Mm -hmm. Now, these guys have finally made their way through. <laughs> and they're about to get caught in here. But at least now they can move two base widths. Oh, funny that conga lines, they could have just danced between those two bits. Some of us had the forethought to go into column. Others did not. Well... Some of us watched the people at the back of the column drift away while nobody was watching them. In many respects, <laughs> keeping everybody in the long line so you can just look left and right and make sure they're all still there, probably sensible. Especially with goblins. Well, uh, who knew I was recruiting goblins as shield bearers? <laughs> the next one. Yes. Would you look at that? I would. That I is no choice to. <laughs> that is going with this young gentleman oh, here. Oh, there we go. So, he is going to get... My battle wagon to go in there. Mm -hmm. The giant to charge in there. Mm -hmm. The trolls to charge in and then slide across. Mm -hmm. That then has you locked in place. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. You're about as locked as you can be. Uh, this giant then is going to run. All the way up to here. Mm -hmm. He is going to say, sure, let's get on with it and join the trolls and ask the ogres very kindly to move up. I've pinned you in place. In many respects, I'm like the Zulu. You've made the mistake of coming in to be trapped by the head, and now the horns now will the horns encircle me. Now, the only problem with that is I only have one horn, which is a gin on my right flank. I want some carpets, I suppose. You got a bloke on a. I do have a bloke on a thing, but. Bull with a yeah. beardy face. Another, Another one. one. Um, he's gone. He doesn't exist. He's gone. Um, would you believe. My magic user I would. is going to curse you. Why would he not? And he's going to curse this unit. No, no, he's not. Gosh. He's going to curse this unit again. Okay. Because I really, really need them not to kill me. <laughs> no prophecy this time, though. Oh, no apparently, prophecy. Do. Apparently prophecy didn't really matter too much. Two is still significant. It cancels out your pointy sticks. It does. Do you think you're going to get a go this turn? I don't know. Did you put any blues in the bag? <laughs> Can't say I did. Look at that. Oh, there we are. Okay. That's your out-of-command units. That is. So my ballista at the back, my artillery. There you go. And there's another one for me. Whatever will I do? Okay. I mean, that would be hilarious. 
Would it? Would it be hilarious? I think it would be hilarious. It might be hilarious. Depends on what it is. Well, I'll tell you what I think I can do, and then you tell me how I can't. Okay. So, this line of elites Mm -hmm. who are blocked by all of these people. Yes. If my gin was to float over here and then blink them forward, would that remove them from combat and spit them into your ogres behind you? Potentially. The downside is... Mm. You have a range of five base widths yes. to cast your spell. Yes. And if you move, that is your action. That is my action. You cannot I can't, weave I can't do spells both. and take a dander at the same time. You or you might, like to pre-measure. You can ple- pre- pre-measure whatever oh. you'd like. Look at that. Oh my. So you will go at least two base widths forward. Yes. Possibly four base widths forward. So you will end up either directly... Behind my line. Behind the line, yeah. With our butts touching. Mm. And we can have a little shuffle. Uh, if you go three forward, we will be in combat. Okay. If you go four forward, you'll be too far mm-hmm. and you'll have to move back. Okay. So there's a good chance we'll end up in combat with my ogres. With the ogres. You're only young once, is what they tell me. And I bought Blink by God, and I'm going to use Blink. I blink two. Okay, so that means you get two die. Mm-hmm. You have a target number for blink of four plus. <laughs> oh wow! So theoretically, fifty-fifty. Theoretically, except we've seen my dice rolling, so with, more like one in ten. With each die, oh yeah, it would yeah. be fifty-fifty, which means you've got seventy-five percent chance. Yeah, of getting yeah, 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 statistically. Yeah, yeah, no. So you have flashes of maths. Oh, so. You have blinked them. I have blinked them. Now, you are moving in a direction of your choice, 1d3 plus 1. I'd like to go straight forward. I could potentially pull them back. You could. And then attempt to charge in if I only went back. You could. Two. If you went back three or four. I'd be too far away to do anything. I'd get hit next turn instead. Yep. Um, As as nice as the blink back and charge in, lead motif feels, I'm just going to blink forward. (laughs) Because it's less risky. Of, n- of not being in a combat at the end of this turn. And our survey says one, so two forward. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave that combat essentially. <laughs> and this combat was boring me. <laughs> and and, and reemerge and that way. Be over there instead, which I'm sure is clean underwear time for the ogres. <laughs> <laughs> so you weren't expecting that to happen. They weren't. Uh, on the flip side, you now have trolls behind you and ogres in front of you. Yeah, but the best place to keep trolls is far, far behind you. <laughs> Don't tell on never turning around. Th- this will be an interesting combat for sure. Okay. Okay. Yep. Well blinked. Damn you, dice. <laughs> Blue. Blue again. Okay. Um... Hmm. That for a second. Your how, magic how far user, away am I now? Your magic user isn't within five, is he? Of your axeman. Of my axeman? Yes. No. No. Because he has a haste spell. That's a haste spell. So if he was within range, he can now say, well done, boys. You're on that side of the line. Just go forward yeah, Just again. go forward, yeah. Unfortunately, things are just like out of range for me, which is terrible. Uh, I will activate my wizard. And I will bless these gents once again. Uh, so try and take another one off. Slowly heal my way back. Oh, it is too. Which I will. There is a one. So you're down to 11 now, are you? Yep. That's terrible. Nope. I had them on the run. Well, you know. And then they turned around. Then they turned around and they seem to be growing stronger with every moment. Vice. Mm. Uh, done that, done that, done that. My rogue mm-hmm. is going to challenge your captain. Ooh, so champions. This is a champions challenge. Your captain can choose to accept a duel, mm-hmm. in which case the two characters step out of the unit. Mm-hmm. The units have their battle. The characters have their battle. All right. It means that you then don't add anything to the combat. Okay. 
and you'd be facing a rogue who is a little sneaky goblin assassin with two big gun knives. Yeah, but I'm a captain. Why would I worry about you? Very good. I'll definitely accept. Let's do that then. If, if word got back to the lads at the Ziggurat back home that I'd walked away from a rogue that tall, I'm bearing in mind big I'm knives. only this tall. Big knives. That tall. Uh, yeah. You might not even be that tall. But his knives are that tall. Well, it's harder for him to wield them. No, I'm definitely, I'll have you. All right. Yeah. Let's do that then. And then cue the music. Dee, 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 dee. One for the kids in the audience, I feel. Blue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, what a shame that came out now, because otherwise I would have rallied the unit he was still attached to. Uh, you can't. We're I having can't. a battle. No, no. Um, <laughs> Considering I, that that rogue was only on that side of the table to get into the village and steal and some steal stuff. steal stuff. I mean, it's, it's, it's not going badly for him. I think my uh, El Capitan, my Shepherd King, will activate and tell them to reload. Uh, and then he's just going to go in there. That's unfortunate. Well, you know, a little, little bit unfortunate, but definitely within my six, no, five base width of range. Certainly. So right in there, and I have to go into the front because the front is closest. Yes. Can't, so I can't do a sneaky flank. You can hit flanks and rear with flying units, but you always have to do the most direct approach. Sure. So if there was another unit in the way there, you could have flown around and hit me in the flank. White. Okay. Um... Um, King Scrotrot mm -hmm. is going to try and rally the boys next to him. So I need five ups because mm -hmm. they're in combat and I'm not part of that unit. One. It's a start. It is. Other than that, oh, actually, he can command. The bats. Batuals. To fly in and hit you on the flank. Shocking. My well, last will be that captain into there. White. This captain. Mm -hmm. Who is going to. For minus two, which means I have a movement of three. I can turn around to face you, mm. but I won't actually be won't in combat. Get into me. Oh, what a terrible cry crying shame. Exposing my flank to your giant gin. So instead, I'll come around here just to distract you. Mm hmm. Try and rebuild the village as we go. I, I think that's very decent of you. I mean, a lot of people would just look at that village and think, mm, it's trashed enough as it is. No need to worry about that. And the captain will try and rally his boys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, right. good. Well done, that captain. And the last one. This is your spare for my spare. Petrus. Because my army is unreliable, if they become impetuous, they mm. suffer a minus one to everything. Good. So. More running backwards. I, I, yes, I make it a habit Oops. for goblins mm -hmm. to try and keep them in command as much as possible. The guys with the whips and the bigger axes. <laughs> Telling them where to go and what yes, to do. you just got to keep them behind. That makes sense. So that's our action phase. That is. Uh, over to melee. Yes. So. Where do you want to start? There are two melees. Mm. Um, let's try and get this one done. Okay. You feel good about that one? No, no, that's the one I'm more worried. No, actually, <laughs> no, I'm. In fact, there's three melees, and I'm worried yeah. about all and of them. All of them were terrible. <laughs> so let's at least do this one. So, my wolf riders get four each. Mm -hmm. One for the captain. Yes. My wyvern gets four plus two for the warlord. My rogue gets three 
mm -hmm. and chooses the one he wants to use to kill you. Ooh, well, that's not going to happen. We know that's not going to happen. And in uh, response, I would get three plus two for my spears into mounted, mm -hmm. but I'm at minus two on all of these. So yes. So I'm going to get six dice into wolf riders. Yep. Uh, one die. Against the wyvern. Into the wyvern. And yep. one die for my captain. Exactly. So, will we do the duel first? Oh, I think so. Everybody wants to see the duel. Okay. Why would we not? So, my sneaky rogue. This is his entire point in the game, mm -hmm. is to assassinate other characters mm -hmm. and to steal relics. So. Wouldn't it be terrible when you fluff this and I kill him? Yes. Wouldn't that just be appalling? Now, my defense for Snickers, the rogue, mm. is six. Whereas your defense is only a five. five yeah. And I get three die. <laughs> Singularizing <laughs> my dice again. Ah, uh, what a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I thought I'd do this. Da, 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 da. Oh. Suspense. Ah. Three. Sure. They're locked in combat. Yep. Next term, gadget. Next time. Okay. Told you wouldn't kill him, though. Wyvern? Wyvern, yeah. So, these these dice again. <laughs> Rerolling ones. Reroll ones. Yep. Need sixes. Got a six. Got a one. Reroll. Yeah, the yeah. last turn. That's, that's one point going on to them. Yep. I will not cause any damage to you. I don't think I've been able to lay a glove on that scaled get. Not on the weapon. Yeah. No. So, so that's adding one. Okay. To your unit so far. And now with these boys, mm. their sixes explode. So. Oh dear. You got one this turn. I got one. Mm. So, still, it's a total of two going on to you. And mine, requiring fours. <sighs> Unfortunately. Oh, that'll be five. Ooh. So, I have a total for my wolf riders of eight for that unit, plus mm -hmm. one for the Captain, mm. so you have just brought them to their knees. So close. I know what people at home are thinking, thinking that captain should never have went off with that rogue. <laughs> should stay there to stab somebody. Yeah. Sense sight is a wonderful thing. You cause more than two hits. Cause more than two. So there is a chance. Let me just. I'm just going to swap that over. That's my additional uh, I, wound. No, I caused two. Oh, you've caused okay. two. Oh, in that case, I'll leave that one then. Oh, yeah. All right. That works. So there is a chance you killed. My rogue. Yes. Or my captain. Do it here where people can see. Double six. No, so close. Thankfully not. So close. Okay. So they're just... On the cusp. That that, that flank was feeling good for me. But it looked Two good. turns ago. Yeah. It, it looked great. It was amazing. I was giving up and going home at the end of turn one. I'm glad I stuck around. So, this interesting combat here. Yeah, center mass. So, obviously... This unit of trolls mm. will be kicking backwards mm -hmm. here. My wagon will be trying to kick backwards there. Yep. My giant will be swinging wildly behind him. All good. Um, he will be attacking you on the flank. These two companies will be attacking backwards there. Mm -hmm. He will be attacking backwards against the vehicle. He gets to choose whether he wants to attack the blokes on the bats or the giant. It would be minus two either way because minus it's, two it's, either it's way. not the front anyway. That's right. What is the defense of the bats? And what is the defense of the giant? I think is my only question. Four for both. Four for both. Oh, so it's. And it's, you have heavy weapons, so it would be four regardless. Regardless. Okay. So it's dealer's choice. Um, the, I don't like the bats. The bats are easier to yeah, kill and that they have a lower resolve. And they've already got one off them yeah. anyway. So yeah, I think, I think I'll go for the bats. Okay. So my elite company with their melee of four, minus two for attacking backwards? Yes. So two dice per stand. That's for my trolls. Mm -hmm. That's for the captain. My battle wagon. One. Mm -hmm. See, nobody gets a charge here because you didn't charge. You yeah, appeared behind I me. I appeared behind you. Uh, you were just getting ready to club me, and all of a sudden everything went by. I imagine, in many respects, the clubbing came in. I disappeared, and it's just the follow through from the momentum as you swing back, and you're just clipping people behind you, going, What was that? 
My giant still adds four. Okay. And he and the battle wagon have heavy weapons. Okay. So that reduces your defense. Side of four. And then the bats, they are the ones who are going to help me. Bat riders <laughs> have four. They did charge in. Ooh. And they're hitting you on the flank. Ah, filthy. So, bat riders, mm -hmm. trolls. Yep. They need fives to hit you. Yep. Giant battle wagons, they need fours to hit you. Okay. Okay. And you need fours to hit everyone. Everybody around me. So, which one would you like to do first? Um, I would love to club your bats to death. Okay. So, I'll, I'll just do that. Bat clubbing. I'll cause a point. One. There we go. Do you want to do the rest of yours? Sure. So into your battle wagon then. I'll cause another one. I have one of those there from earlier. And then into the trolls. Ooh. Oh, that's a bit sharp. Frisky, I imagine somebody went through your legs and just poked up on the way. Oh. That's how that blink went. Aye. So, I have a captain there. Yep. There's a chance you just killed him. Oh, yes, because he's attached to the trolls. He is. 11 or 12. Now. <sighs> okay. So, the dice from the giant and the battle wagon. Mm -hmm. Two. Two. The dice from everyone else, mm -hmm. most of which is the bats. Five. That fives. Is not quite bad. good. Six. Uh, eight onto me. Is that, yes, a total of eight. Mm. Now, you are a big, tough, hard to crack unit. I am. I think that only takes you down to like a third. Yeah, my, my result for that entire unit is 24. Which is ridiculous. Well, in my defense, you made the list. That, that is true. If left to my own devices, I would have made something much worse, so don't worry about it. <laughs> there we go. And then the uncomfortable combat over here. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm excited to see how this goes. I have three attacks for this company. Are they charged furiously? They did not charge furiously. Your Lamasu. Your Lamasu charged Correct. them. Yes. So I have three attacks for the other two companies. And they did charge furiously. So they get all the dice. Okay. Needing sixes. Mm -hmm. And here I have less of the dice, but only needing fours. So I get three for my Shepherd King. I get four for the Lamasu. And I get one... For charging. For charging. So that's mm -hmm. his. And then my shield bearers get uh, three. three each. Uh, um, plus two for long spears receiving a charge. And, and no minuses for once. I'm so confused. It's not happened to me before. <laughs> uh, two each. Yep. So all of the dice. Oh, that's so beautiful. I, I'm just imagining what it's been like for you the whole game now. <laughs> I'm, I'm touched by the moment. So against the Lamasu. Yep. Two hits. Mm -hmm. And against two there. The big boys <laughs> where I need sixes. <laughs> One. <laughs> One. Look at look at that. Wow. If only they did have poison. <sighs> Something for next time. <laughs> Perhaps. So one against the mm. dwarves. I shall mark it in a second. I shall do my dwarves into your uh, goblins first. Indeed. Well, I mean, they're and all... Well... You may as well roll them all together. Okay. It makes no difference. Oh, the... Of course, he doesn't have Furious or anything. He yep. just has a dwarf stuck to his back. So. And your defense is four? My defense is four. My unit may wow, be about so to bad. explode. No, I don't think it is. Anything you can do with ones and twos, I can do better. That's not one I rolled. That's the hit on him. Ah. Um, so three, six, eight. Well, I suppose again, missed with 10, eight. Oh, that's practically average. So eight hits. Plus the four I've already got. Yep. That would be 12. Mm. They have three resolve each. 
Oh, oh dear. They go away. They are about to go away. And they may give some love to some friends as well. They will pass their best wishes onto their friends. Mm. Well, it's only going to be that giant. I think everybody else has shuffled too far away. Uh, that's true. Okay. Mm. So, as they scatter, yes. anyone within two base widths, as we said, loses one resolve. Okay. However, if they are a larger unit, it causes additional resolve loss. Okay. So because they are a larger unit than the giant, the giant is going to suffer two hits okay. rather than just one. So you don't really mind when small units break and flee because you expect small units to break and flee when somebody two or three times the size of your company suddenly breaks, you have pause for thought. It's a bit scary. Yeah. Yeah. That's the end of the turn anyway, isn't it? That's the end of the turn. Yep. So back then for turn five. Indeed. And uh, it's a strange one. Yeah. You've you didn't see of, this coming, did you? You've sort of bypassed my, like, well, my, the, my There was line. a big, brutal line coming towards me, and I thought, I'm not having any of that, so I'm just going to go away. Bye. Thanks. It's been a delight. <laughs> All right. So for shooting, uh, you yeah. have to nominate your artillery again. Mm. These guys will now be shooting at the giant, or the djinn. Mm -hmm. Um, because he's now the closest directly in front of him. And he, he will return fire with his magic missile. All of these will be shooting at your shield wall, unfortunately. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to see who wants it. They all want it. He's not a flyer, so he'd be blocking. Although I could get to that corner. Yes. So that's a potential. I think that might be a way to go. And then giant with the other. Spread the love, so to speak. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So my Jin um, will fire in here with his magic missile. Carpets will also fire. Artillery will also fire because I've seen my dice rolling previously. <laughs> and then my last <laughs> artillery pieces will go for center mass and okay. straight into this giant. You may as well, may as well roll everything against uh, yeah, at the, the, same, at the same, time. same time. It's it's a four that you need. Okay. Uh, so, do I get plus one because they're mounted? They have, do you have the mounted trait? You do. Okay. Yep. And they are short range of three. Goes up to four for my carpets. So that's quite nice. Uh, I only have a magic missile of one though. Is it one? One die. One die. Say singular die. Got it. Getting there. Take that one. Out. Yep. That one. Threw them far away. Me returning fire. Can I just confirm your gin is a giant as well as ephemeral? You cannot. Oh, he's monstrous. He's monstrous. Uh, same effect. So I, I get plus one shooting against okay. you, but because you're ephemeral, that means I still need sixes. To sixes. You're sort of. Yeah, there's a, a lot of target there. There's a lot of target in a cloud, but you're not going to do much damage by chucking a stone at it. Exactly. None? None. None. And in retaliation, our survey says, oh, oh, oh Lord. Um, two, four, seven. And they were already carrying a few. Yep, no, that's them gone. Okay. Oh dear. Um, into the giant. Mm -hmm. So four normally. And does he then also guarantee or grant? Uh, yes, plus one. Plus one. Okay. And again, fours. Oh, four. Mm, he's tough, but he's not very tough. Uh, was that four hits into him? Four hits into him. I don't suppose I can kill On the attached the sorcerer. Uh, you can try. I can try. He has a total of seven. Oh. So you have brought him to his, his knees. So... So uh, 11 or 12 then. Yes. Oh, a five and a cock. Sooner or later you're going to get it. We think that. No, no we don't. Today is not that no. day. But I feel good rolling for it all the time. It always exists in potential. And now I have two units of goblins and mm -hmm. two units of stoned goblins shooting yep. towards your shield wall. None? <laughs> no. Oh dear. <laughs> what a terrible shame. Yes. They may remain resolute. 
in so, the face of arrows and small bouncing stoned goblins. In fact, most of the ones coming out of that unit of goblins probably are just goblins. Yeah. Yes. They're not shooting, they're just running forward. <laughs> just running. Right? <laughs> running and impacting against you. Oh, what a terrible shield wall is going to take so much time to clean. <laughs> it's like the old joke, kids. How many halflings does it take to paint a wall? It depends how hard you throw them. Desperate. Desperate. <laughs> it's amazing. And you're going to be telling people that. I know you are. I certainly would not. I am a, I am a pro halfling <laughs> uh, person. I, I would never do such a thing. Mm -hmm. Blue. Oh. Blister at the back. Reload, reload. White. Do I have anybody out of command? Well, oh, sorry, before we do this. Oh. Our wolf riders broke. Yes. They passed a hit onto this unit here. Oh, who were capped. Who are one away from breaking. Um. So what that has done is that has broken this unit. And the captain. And the captain with them. And the captain with them. So with this unit breaking. Yes. Would you, Sympathetics. Would you believe that it is larger than my dragon? So it is going to pass two hits. Oh, you know what? I'm going to stick with a die uh -huh. at this stage. Yeah, yeah. Passes two hits onto the women. Yep. Then we have our bat riders here. Mm -hmm. They are within two base widths of the bat rider, so they're going to pass two hits onto the bat rider. Mm -hmm. Our bat riders have a mighty resolve of four. Oh dear. So they will break. The two from there mm -hmm. <laughs> will also impact on the giant. The giant. As will the one from him. Mm -hmm. Which will impact on <laughs> this unit here. The giant, putting that up to a three. This unit here. Mm -hmm. And the warlord, putting that up to a three. So the very fact that you managed to shoot some wolves at this end of the table mm -hmm. have rippled panic the entire way across my line. Across half of the battlefield. Marvellous. Obviously, that was my tactic the whole time. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a terrible jammy guess. And also, so I got, to be fair, I got to pick the army and I looked at the pair of them and went, I'm taking the dwarves. <clears throat> Something has to help me here. So bear with me yep, no. as all of these take hits. That has suddenly... I, I don't know what it is, but this seems so much lighter over here. It's more sunlit <laughs> uplands. It, uh, it changes things a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. And what that has also done, of course, mm -hmm. is it has removed... Removed another token from the bag, although you did get the well, first one out. I, I would be content for you to fetch another white one from the bag because that was the first one you drew. Are you happy for that? No, I'm perfectly fine for that because it was random anyway. So, so, ditching that one. And then for the random one that I pulled... Mm. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> um, Right. We're going to activate this captain. Mm -hmm. And he is going to give all of the orders. Yes. So. I'm going to tell everybody to turn around. They will turn around. They will charge. I feared that may happen when I didn't have the blink puff to get there. He will charge. Mm -hmm. And they. Oh dear. They will stay exactly where they are and regenerate. Oh, okay. As they are trolls. So, regeneration. Mm -hmm. You roll one dice yep. for each resolve that you have lost. Mm -hmm. And if you roll a six, you get it back. Simple. They have lost four. Mm. I roll four dice. Feel free to get none. And I get none. It's good. Channel so, your inner me. So they are now facing the wrong direction and have not healed themselves. Excellent. Good times. The captain will try and rally them. So they at least get one back anyway. Get one back. So that's fairly. Uh, hmm. Fairly decisively have have you pinned? Yes. 
On that note... Presuming you don't have some sort of spell. Well, don't worry, I have plenty of spells. I just don't think any of them were in range to do anything this time. My king on his wyvern mm. is going to attempt to disengage. Now, I asked about this before the game started, kids, and the phrase, whoever uses disengage, was thrown back at me. A king on a weapon <laughs> by himself. Will sometimes disengage. Will sometimes disengage. So it's a simple roll. One, two, three. He's too committed to the fight. Yes. And the weapon won't come away. Four, five, or six. He comes away. Okay. Plus one if there's a character attached. There is a warlord okay. dumping him on the head with a big mallet going disengage. And do flyers or skirmishers or things like that get benefits? Uh, indeed they do. They get a plus one. So, so there's a very good chance. So really, as long as you don't roll a one, you're fine. And okay. they don't. So he can... So... I turn around 180 degrees and mm -hmm. move my full movement, which from memory is five. So it means I'm facing the wrong direction, but you're Far slow. away, yeah. Okay. Fascinating. White again. My magic user mm -hmm. is going to try and curse the dwarves with great big axes in front yes. of them. So I've seen how this works before. Oh dear. So, so minus two for each of them. Put my little two in there. It's becoming quite uh, quite the feature. Blue. Right. So I have questions. Yes. Question the first. We left to fight. So. Theoretically, I'm no longer attached to this unit. Mm -hmm. So that can that unit then go elsewhere? Mm -hmm. So we, it's not that they're still locked in combat because that fight is ongoing. They can just wander off. We're still dueling. Okay, that's great. Don't know if that's what they're going to do, but, you know, you know it's, it, it has its moments. Uh, da, 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 da. I, do, I do think I do want to go in to the uh, flank of your giant, mind you. If that's at all possible, probably not. Probably not right off the bat, but no, with no. a with a handy dandy blink, if I set myself up here, I might be able to push him in. So if you get them facing the right direction, mm. so if you blink them mm -hmm. that way, yes. Oh, and then your captain can order them forwards. That would work. If you move. Forwards, you're still going to be at sort of a squiffy yeah. angle, and it's not going to be particularly useful. But, but a blink shifting them some way this way. If I only get one on the blink, mm -hmm. these characters aren't really there, are they? No. So we we just drew the one. So I want a nice big blink. Then the captain could order them forward, and if needs be, a haste could be used to push them home. Yes. Ram them in if needs be. So let's try this to the messiest melee. Yes. Well. If there's only one way to make these things happen, uh, and that's to be brutal. So first up, four plus required on one die. Will, will I get it? What are the chances? I do get it. So, so 1d3? They will be. Plus one. Something big, please. No. Two. Still two across. Two, yeah. So we'll just shuffle their combat to there. Mm-hmm. And well, realistically, I could just do that. And that is two base widths shuffled. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I feel good. I That's, don't. I don't. This is most unfortunate. Not, not forget to take my massive horde of tokens with me. Another blue. Oh, another blue. So... Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and do the uh, the captain. It's very nebulous now because when he when they were there, he was in range of these as well. Um. So I would like to be ordering both this unit yes. to advance and the. Uh, 
flying carpet guys to start doing barrel rolls around people. So may I just take that. So one bit would, would get me in. in. Yep, absolutely. Ah, and then I've crud. got a slighter line yep. to there, which is nice. And then my regular company of acolyte carpets will uh, I've actually got six. There's a movement, haven't they? Yes, yeah, they're very, very quick. They're very, very sprightly. I'm going to MacGyver this together. Bum, bum, bum. So, could they make that charge? What are you trying to get into? Flank of them. So, that means. Oh, you... Or does it have to go back to. Oh, of course, yeah, because yeah. it'd be furthest, furthest. So, you can get into the side of my giant. I can decide the giant, though. Okay. In that case, I will do this thing because one in the flank is better than none in the flank. And they will <laughs> go My that way. <laughs> and yeah, oh, I'd hate to be the I'd hate to be the game's designer explaining this to me in about ten minutes. <laughs> right, is that all? You're, you're done there. <laughs> uh, he's still fighting, so he can't rally. So yeah, that's all. White, I don't know that I have anything. Oh, I do have yeah. these guys. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah. Oh, there's so much stuff. Loads of things. Right. Round two. <laughs> okay. We've seen how this happened before. Hello. And one for me, you say, sir. Okay. Uh, I will activate my wizard and bless this unit once again. Okay. Because why not? Oh. That's why not. Oh. They can't hear you over the sound of... <laughs> <laughs> the sound of the cacophony that. of warfare. Oh, well. One. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that must be my... Oh, no, him. Oh, yes, the rogue. That's my one that I can't use. Yep. Means there should be one left for me. Indeed, for your king. Yeah. Um, this mm -hmm. thing yes. that's going on. Now, because I've been topped and tailed, does that prevent them from conforming? They can conform. So they could still choose to turn if they wanted to. In, a, it, in a direction, it's, yes. It's just who they decide they don't, or they, they want in the rear or don't want in the rear. I think I would rather have maximum attacks, so they will I conform. Think that makes they'll, sense. They'll, they'll all turn. And then, so that's that. And then I can't help but feel like. They should probably charge in there, and he should probably charge in there. <laughs> you, know, you just need to want any more going in there, do you? <laughs> I, I would advise against it. Oh, think of the fun we'd have. Gi um, giants no, um, don't like being taken by Lamasus in the planks. Do they not? No. No, they, they kick off. They go badly wrong. Aye. Uh, no, I'll just go straight forward because I want to get rid of these. The paperwork, Jerry, the paperwork. The pa <laughs> <laughs> so. If they go straight forward yep. and then and then a line yep. and then he goes straight in. And take your damage with you. And take my damage. And that is that. Uh <laughs> yeah, yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> shall, <laughs> we, shall we start with this one? I think we shall. I th I think this could just about be the end uh, of my goblins, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But we'll we'll see. So over here you think? Yeah. All right. So my goblin warriors get three each. Mm hmm And my shield bearers also get three each. Now you charged. Yep. So you get a plus one. But no long spearings this time. No long spears because you're not receiving the charge yep. and I'm not mounted. Now this unit here, or this company. 
only adds plus one for support. He doesn't because add his full dice roll. Because it's flanking, essentially. So, yep. yeah. so that's them. And then you have Lamassu, mm-hmm. who is going to eat me. He gets four, one for the charge, and then three for occasionally hitting you with the Shepherd King on his back. Yes. So you only need fours. This company, mm-hmm. I need fours to hit your Lamassu. Mm-hmm. This company, I need sixes, sixes still to hit those damn shieldmen. So that against the shields first. Mm-hmm. Nope. No. Nope. I guess Lamassu. Ooh. Lovely. Three. And in retaliation. I'm dead, aren't I? Might not be. No? Three and three, six. Six? Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> So we'll, it was a beautiful dream. We'll, we'll, we'll mark that and come back to that later. <laughs> I'll pop, uh, pop three on him. Yes. Can I roll to see if I have killed the Shepherd King? You, oh, you may, certainly. And you probably will, which would be hilarious. No. no. Other end of the spectrum. Yes. You went for the three rather than the 11. The, the, wrong, the wrong numbers. Okay. Moving along then. Yes. <laughs> I felt a terrible disturbance in the force. (laughs) What do you want to resolve first? Well, the ogres. Into your rear. They're the only people involved in that part of that fight. Okay, let's let's do the ogres first. Nobody can take that away from us. Okay, so they get five each and they charged this turn, didn't they? They did. Which means they get... Plus one for charging, and they're hitting you in the rear. Mm. And they have heavy weapons. Mm. So they only need fours to hit you. So that's seven. Seven. Bring me up to a bammy 15. Okay. Both armies explode at the same time, I feel, here. They could do, they could do. Yeah, so that's them. Yes. Will we just run through mine? I, I think that's probably the easiest way. So nobody okay. gets confused. My giant, I'm already confused looking at it. <laughs> My giant has six. Mm-hmm. And he's facing you now. He's facing me. Because he wants to hit that big unit. He doesn't want to hit the guys behind him. No. Them. So he gets six against the big unit. Mm-hmm. Next to him is... Uh, what is it? The battle wagon. Battle wagon. That gets three. Yes. Now, they both have heavy weapons as well. So okay. they also so only need fours. fours. That's all of the dice. Nice. So that, that's another six mm-hmm. hits on you. Unfortunately, my trolls were concerned that you might be blinked away from them and they didn't want to be facing the wrong direction again. Sensible. And, and they wanted to regenerate. Yeah. So they're still facing the wrong direction. So they're kicking back. Uh, so they're kicking back. They have five each. Mm-hmm. So minus two it becomes three each. Mm-hmm. And Plus then they have a captain with them. Lurking in amongst them. Now they need fives, which is your defense. Yes. Well, they still get three. And finally the giant. Mm-hmm. So that giant has six. And a wizard attached. Mm -hmm. And he charged. And he's hitting you in the flank. And he only needs fours. Ooh. That was a rubbish roll, wasn't it? Poor. Uh, But that's 18 hits on you. 18, so that's 24. Which is your... Is my resolve. Resolve limit. Mm -hmm. So that unit will break. Mm. But not before it... Not before it gets the chance to shoot into everybody. Rips my army apart. Yeah. Yes. So. So what we'll do, we'll just flip that over. Yep. And then we'll remember. Because we know they're going. And they have minus two to all of their dice rolls. Yes, because they've been cursed. Yes. It's my delightful black dice of curse there. So I'm going to start... uh, Let me think. He's on his waiver limit. Uh, The giant... Or is resolve. Uh, they're going, aren't they? They're going. Um, his resolve limit is for a giant seven. Right. And he's on six. He's on six. So he's close. So, so I'd need to put at least one into him. 
So if they are going, they will pass two across. Oh, they'll pass two because he's big, so he's away anyway. So in that case, both these into the trolls. Okay. Uh, which is two dice then. Dun, dun, dun. So yeah, you, you would leave three. You would normally have a melee of four for them. Uh, oh, you're right. Yes. Minus two is two so dice each. Two each. Okay. And so now you're attacking me in the rear, so you get an extra two each. Interesting. And you only need fours. So into the troll. And do five. My trolls have five each. So that's not going to do it necessarily for mm -hmm. them. But we'll see. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> the day is early. Then I have uh, it's two on there, three on there. They're going into the flank. I, you know, I think I'm going to focus everything forward. There's mm -hmm. no point in kicking back. So into the fight wagon. Okay. So that is your factor of four. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Because I'm facing you. And you need fours because you have great whopping yep. big axes. But then two off because I'm cursed. And two off because you're cursed. Yeah. Oh, none. Okay. And against the giant. Let's see him again. Two. Two. Okay. <laughs> it's getting a bit messy. A little bit. Oh, don't worry. They'll all be off the table in a moment. It'll be much easier to look at what's going on. <laughs> uh, then my flying carpets. Yes. So they have a melee of two. Mm -hmm. But you charged. Charging is three. And you're hitting me in the flank. Flanking to two more. Yep. And I'm a giant. I'm a fantastic beast. So my defense is four. What? Five. That is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, nobody mentioned the air core. So that he will break. That that's so he, he's going. Yeah. So you don't really need to roll his. That's that's dice. Just, well. I'll just do this one into here then. Yes. Does that mean I could support from this one? No. Be because, because they're still they're technically still engaged. Yeah. That's fine. So they get three charging. Yep. And rear. Uh, yes. And fours again. Uh, fives. Fives. My vehicle. Ooh. It's a bit harder to break it because it's wood rather than goblin. Uh, three though. Okay. Um, and up to five. My battle wagon has a resolve of five. Ooh. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. I shall start by removing the cursed dice. Mm -hmm. And then we shall resolve all of the damage that's going to happen here. <laughs> so there's no more malaise on the table. No, 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 no. It, it's all the damage now. Okay, so where do you want to start? Do you want to start over here? Let's start over there. So this unit mm -hmm. comes away. It passes one hit mm -hmm. onto them because they're the same size. Yep. And it passes two hits over here mm -hmm. as well as one more hit onto them. Okay. So my giant now, he should have a resolve of seven. Mm -hmm. He had already lost six. Yes. Loses two more. Mm -hmm. He's only being kept there because there is a wizard with him. Okay. Okay. So we will sort out the actual counters for that in a minute. Sure. The trolls here have five each, mm -hmm. which means they have 10 plus one for that. Yep. They've lost nine. So they're currently okay. Fine. Okay. No ring take that away from you. They were too far away from that combat for them to be affected. Okay. So, however, these two are breaking. Mm -hmm. So they are going to pass one hit each onto them. Yes. And onto them. That will bring these guys from nine up to 11. So they will then go. Mm -hmm. Which will then pass one, two, three, four onto them. So they go up to five. Mm -hmm. Everything else runs away. And but then, wait, there's more. There is more, yes. <laughs> because I have giants there, okay. and when giants die, they fall over. Oh, well, that's delightful. And cause additional hits. Uh -huh. This one, it doesn't matter where he falls, because you're going to run away anyway. Yes. And there's no one else in any of the other directions. Mm -hmm. Here, when he falls, yes. he may cause hits in front of him, 
or on me, or on him, or behind him. Okay. So we'll see what happens. Uh, should we do that now? Yes, let's do that now and see exactly just how brutal that can be. So my giant, the giant falling then, mm -hmm. on a 1e folds to the left, 2 to the rear, 3 to the right, 4, 5, 6, straight forwards. So 2 would be terrible. 4, 5, 6, he so goes straight forward. Goes straight forwards, doesn't matter lands, a jot. Yeah, lands in the big unit of already exploded. Yes. But, so that's only yours. Yes, shall I take mine away? If you take yours away, and then I shall be spreading the love with my own unit of elite. Who will be throwing out two, because he's a massive unit. So yep. two onto the carpets, who have a resolve of four, which will make them explode. Two will also go to my unit of shield bearers who have stuck around rightly. Yes. But now that they're going, they'll also get another one, five, 10, 15, 16. Oh. And what is their resolve? Oh, their resolve is only five, so 15. So, 15, so, so, so this unit, this unit, and this unit all go away as well. We still have the, the, uh, the <laughs> character combat the as well. <laughs> oh, I would hate to mess that out. We'll do that in a second. I know technically we should have already fought there, but let's just remove those. Bring them all up to the hill of victory where they can quaff forever in paradise. Can I just say one man's hill of victory is another man's hill of defeat? <laughs> Oh, the middle of the board looks a bit more open now. Oh, I think this 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 is the end. Mm. Yes. So, uh, shall we fight? I, I would love to. I'd, <laughs> yeah, I have to do that. So, you, you, you get three, and you get to pick, and you need to get fives. Yep. And I just need a six. You need a six on your one dice. I'm dead. You're dead. Oh, five. And I am alive. So close, and yet so far. Snickers, the huff, uh, the goblin assassin. Oh. That's he fine. would have taken two as well, actually. Uh, he could well have done. Because, oh, well, he was within range to, yes. to buff them. So five, six, seven. Seven. Shepherd King's resolve is two. Lamassu is six. So eight. Eight. Oh, so close. So close. So close. Sticking around, though. So the break point mm. for an army mm -hmm. is all characters. Yes. Or more than 50% of units. Which, <laughs> <laughs> my army is now sitting on the hill of death, mm. the hill of slaughter. You know, they're, they've got plenty of company up there. They do. Yeah. Um, should we call it a draw? <laughs> <laughs> Have you lost enough to break? Have I lost enough to break? Do you, ballistic counters companies? Yes, so as, as two, does the gin. Two, four, five, six, seven, yes. Eight left on the table. And I've lost one, two. Oh, he doesn't count. Oh, he doesn't count. He wasn't there. Oh, because he'd run off at the start. He did. Ah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you have lost I've, enough. I've lost enough to break. Okay. And I'm not even going to count mine. Mm. I mean, it's quite apparent uh, if you can see the hill of slaughter here. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. We'll take a close up picture of the hill of slaughtered it, people. It, it is covered in goblins. It is. Um, so that is a bloody, bloody stalemate. Yeah, uh, I'd hate to be playing a campaign because there's not many people going home from this one. No, no, unfortunately not. But these things are set to try us. I mean, at least your warlord on Wyvern knew the going was good and got out early. <laughs> He's seen the way the wind was blowing here. But that's it. That was a fantastic battle. Thank you very much, Jerry. Yeah. Uh, well, well done on. Yeah, it, it, it was, uh, it was pure blind luck and fluke, I think, more than anything else. But, let me know what you think below, folks. If you have any questions about Fantastic Battles, um, there's a great interview that Nick did with me uh, a few months ago. You'll find it on the channel. If you have anything specific you want to ask, though, about the rules, about the game, drop them below, and uh, I'll pass them across to Nick and see if we can get you answers. But until next time, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.